Power Plant Engine Fire Protection Oral Questions What types of fire detector systems are used for engine fire detection? Overheat, Rate of Temperature Rise, and Flame Detectors How does a thermal switch fire protection system operate? When heated past a predetermined temperature, the switch closes, causing the warning devices in the cockpit to activate. How many thermal switches are needed in a thermal switch fire protection system? At least one. What kind of fire detection system allows more complete coverage than a spot type system? A continuous loop system. What happens if an engine equipped with a thermocouple fire warning system slowly overheats? Nothing, because it requires a fast temperature rise or rapid heating for this type of fire system to operate. What electrical power is required for a thermocouple fire protection system to operate? Both the thermocouple produced power and the aircraft electrical system are required for this type of fire protection system to operate. What is the likely cause of a false fire warning? The engine fire sensing loop is bent or kinked excessively. What are fire extinguishing systems designed to do? They are designed to dilute the oxygen levels around the engine to a point that does not allow combustion or to reduce temperatures below the ignition point. Describe how a KIDA continuous loop fire protection system functions. KIDA has a sensing element consisting of a sealed Inconel tube with two conductors and a thermistor material. One wire is electrically grounded to the outer tube at each end and acts as an internal ground. The other is a positive lead. When a fire or overheat occurs, the resistance and the thermistor material drops, allowing current to flow between the two wires to activate an alarm. Describe how a Fenwall continuous loop fire protection system functions. A Fenwall system uses a sensing element consisting of a small diameter flexible Inconel tube containing a single wire electrode surrounded by ceramic beads wetted with eutectic salts. The beads prevent the single electrode from touching the Inconel tube. Current is applied to the electrode while the outer tube is grounded to the aircraft structure. When a fire or overheat occurs, the core resistance of the beads drops, allowing current to flow between the center electrode and the ground energizing or activating the alarm system. What elements must be present for a fire to occur? An ignition source, heat or spark, fuel, and oxygen. 
What group of fire extinguishing agents are no longer manufactured because of environmental concerns? Halons, Freon or Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, were no longer manufactured after 1995. However, existing stocks of CFCs may still be used and are subject to strict handling and disposal regulations. How are fire extinguishing agents distributed? Through perforated tubing and or discharge nozzles. What is the purpose of the discharge cartridge and how is it activated? The discharge cartridge, or squib, which is electrically ignited, fires a projectile into the frangible disc, thus releasing the fire extinguishing agent. How is a fire extinguisher system with a high rate of discharge classified? It is an HRD fire extinguisher system. What does the red and yellow discs in the fire extinguishing system indicate? The red disc missing indicates a thermal discharge of the system. The yellow disc missing indicates a normal or pilot discharge of the system. How is the fire extinguishing agent in an HRD system distributed and how long does it take to discharge? The agent is distributed through a series of high pressure tubes and it takes one to two seconds for the discharge. What is the purpose of a pressure gauge in a fire extinguishing system? It indicates the pressure within the container. You would use a pressure temperature chart to check if the pressure is within limits.